Hey Scorpio, hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-January 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Suns. And it is general, so it's not going to be for all of you. If you would like a personal reading though, you can check that out in the description box. And keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, Scorpio, let's see what is going on with you. for the second half of January, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Knight of Cups crossed by the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so it's like somebody is fluctuating or thinking a lot about making a love offer coming in, um, but there's a little bit of back and forth about that, really trying to decide. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the moon. Okay, so that's Pisces energy. Um, I feel like there was fear here. There was fear and I feel like somebody was hiding that fear that they may have had about something, something in this connection. For your energy, we have the nine of wands and the two of wands. Yeah, it's like something is feeling difficult here for you. Um, I feel like you've, it's almost like you've been waiting. Um, I feel like there's this waiting energy where, you know, you don't want to do something about it. So you're, it's like you're not, you're not taking much of a stance. Um, but it also feels like your patience is wearing thin. Let's see for them. Um, they have the tower and the hermit. Okay, so Virgo. They're going through something big here. They're going through a major, major lesson, which is um, forcing them basically to learn something really deep about their own self. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if it goes back to what this fear is, something that has been suppressed. Let's see for the near future, we have the Five of Cups and the message for you here is the Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah, so it does feel like there is some some grief, possibly about the past. Um, either, and this could be for you or it could be for the other person. I mostly feel like it's for the other person, but again, just take it as it resonates. Um, but the message here for you is to really stand strong. Stand strong, be firm. Uh, the Queen of Swords just doesn't allow anybody to take advantage of her. So that's kind of what the, what the message is that I'm getting for you. Let's see. Let's clarify these. Let's see the Knight of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Okay, wow. All right, well, this connection is definitely really, really strong. All right, so you might feel like like this is like um, like a past life connection that you have with this person or you just feel like it the love just runs really really deep even if it's not being fully expressed at the moment wow um because yeah i mean it does feel like you know because i do see it as it being this person unless the roles are reversed um that does want to come forward towards you in a more loving way. So maybe you are in communication. I'm not saying you're not, but this is all about opening up more emotionally and maybe giving some kind of an offer that will be bigger than what has been given up to this point. And it does feel like whatever that is, I mean, it does involve commitment, possibly even marriage, and for some of you, reconnecting if, if there has been a breakup. But there's definitely a lot of love here. It's just that um, this person is going back and forth about it. And I feel like it's because they're trying to find some kind of a balance, possibly within their own self with whatever this moon energy is, or with other things in their life that might be interfering with them. Not to excuse them, just saying what the influences might be. So let's see this moon for their recent past.
the King of Swords, the Moon again, and the Eight of Pentacles. I do want to get one more. I'm getting the moon twice. Okay, definitely strong Pisces energy. Let's see. One more, please. We have the world. Okay. So whatever, because it's not very clear what this is, because it's going to be different for all of you, right? This reading is general. Um, this is something that this person has been kind of like hiding deep within their own self. Like I said, I feel like it's like a repressed fear. It could be that for some of them, there was just something very powerful in their lives in the past that may have scared them, like it, that may have um, created some kind of a fear. So it could have been like um, a father figure, for example, for some of them. It may have even been like a legal issue that happened in childhood. Whatever it is, I feel like beneath the surface, a lot of work is being done or has already been done, actually. Because having the Eight of Pentacles and then having the world, I do see this closing out, whatever that is. And honestly, I don't feel like they have shared this with you. Maybe they have, um, but I don't feel like they can have fully shared it with you because a lot of it was repressed even though if they're working on it it is coming to the surface so <clears throat> for the most part though i do feel like it is a hidden fear that that they are that they are resolving okay let's see let's see the nine of wands for you Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, it's like you've been you've been struggling when it comes to okay, how much I deserve, you know, what is it that I am worth, how to nurture myself, but in in relation to also waiting for this person to come around. And because of that, because th this has been like such a struggle for you because on the one hand, yes, you do respect yourself. Yes, you do want to take care of yourself. But on the other, you also don't feel like it is like it is right for you to be going through this for so long. And that has created some disappointment here in the situation or in this person. And that's why I said, I feel like, you know, your patience is running thin. Let's see the two of wands. The eight of wands, the hierophant, and the eight of cups. Yeah, it's like, you know, you were waiting on them. It's like you've been waiting on them to make a move here to move towards, um, you know, like a, a commitment or a higher level commitment, as I was saying before, you know, to get that offer for something that's going to be stable and secure. All right, this is also Taurus energy. And because of that, I feel like you're, you're kind of detaching from that waiting energy. It almost comes in as like, you're not even expecting this to really happen anymore. Like it, you might be like, but in the back of your mind, but you're not so actively chasing after this or waiting for this to come to come through. It's more like you're taking this um, attitude of, okay, you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, if they do, they do. If they don't, you know, well, there's not much I can do about it. Kind of like that, because you just don't want to be in this like eagerly waiting energy anymore. So let's see for them, let's see this tower. I feel like they're having a major breakthrough here. The Six of Swords, the Sun, and the Empress. Wow. Whatever that is from their past, that I feel like it was like something really dark. Um, they're moving away from that. There's, I feel like that 
has surfaced and now it's just like really blowing up and it's causing them to move away from that like okay you know the past is the past leave the past in the past and that's what they are doing and moving forward towards that sun all right this is also leo um showing up here moving towards that sun and and it's leading them to move towards you but they're still in this process right they're still they're still facing the effects of this tower which is related to that fear or repressed energy from their past let's see the hermit Right, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so it might feel like they're still kind of keeping to themselves here, but that's because they're really processing this ending, right? This completion of whatever that is, right? Whatever this tower is. And it could be some kind of an ending here that's happening for them. Because whatever that moon was in the past, something that was either hidden from you or just something that was just really dark for them in their life, that is closing out, Ten of Swords, but it is painful. It's a painful process, whatever it is that has come up to the surface here. It's like that that tower is forcing this to end. They're being forced to fully realize something. It's like having the sun, right? Here, when we had the moon before twice, something is being revealed to them and it's, it's being forced. So it's not easy. It's not easy, so they might seem a little bit inconsistent, a little bit unstable, keeping to themselves, keeping quiet. And again, it's because they're processing this ending that's painful, but they're also moving away from that. And I feel like it is happening rather quickly. So let's see the Five of Cups in the near future. Three of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Devil. Okay, so, I mean, they still have a little way to go. Okay, just a little way to go. As I said, they are they are moving away from this fast, but coming up in the near future, though, they're still processing this pain. I really feel like this is them, not, not so much you. Um, they need to grieve this loss, whatever it is. There's a major loss here that needs to be grieved, and basically that's just, you know, what needs to happen this person let's see the I mean, I'm, I know I could I could say more but really it that's like the gist of it anything else I say is just going to be um, just going around basically what I already said So let's see the Queen of Swords. How's the message for you? All right, we have the Lovers, the Five of Pentacles, and the Star. Okay, so yeah, you know, it's like not that you need to be mean or anything like that to this person, okay? Because they're definitely dealing with something. I, I don't know if maybe for some of them if they didn't treat you right um, or whatever the case is, but it's like if they're asking for for time for themselves, I feel like, yeah, you know, that's that's the message for you. You know, allow them to just have this time to grieve whatever needs to be grieved here. Because it's like after that, we do have the lovers, right? We do have the lovers and we also have the star, so which is all about healing. So there's this huge healing of whatever that loss is, all right, with the five of pentacles. It's like this energy is here, right? Because like I said, there's a lot of love here. 
there's a lot of love here. This person does want to move things forward with you and it's being shown again here with the lovers as well as the star. It's just that there's this loss at the moment that is affecting this and it just really needs to be processed. So you just keeping your cool, you know, through this, um, focusing on you and possibly just, you know, maintaining your a healthy distance for your own self as well is what I'm getting here. All right, but again, you know, as I always say, follow your own intuition. All right, Scorpio, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. All right, and we actually got two. We have <clears throat> the full moon in Pisces. <clears throat> yeah, I'm telling you, Pisces keeps showing up. Um, balance, spirituality, and practicality. And then we also have the blue moon. Believe in the impossible. So yeah, sometimes the impossible or what appears to be impossible is actually more possible than we think. And I do also get that feeling here with the star. So yeah, Scorpio, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.